Hey, this is Chris. Welcome back to Chris's Dip Review, and I'm sorry I'm pissed off now because I got a brand new iPhone. I started recording with it. I didn't realize I didn't delete like my four-part fucking cigar review that was like 30 minutes long. So it was taking up a lot of memory because I only have a 16 gig uh, iPhone. But other than that, I uh, just stopped recording. I got six minutes into the video, but screw it. So today, I'm going to be talking about a little bit of the history of the YouTube channel. I'm going to be talking about my history of vaping. You know, what I vape on now, my standard vape, what's my favorite. And yeah, sorry, this chair's being a little squeaky and shit. Adjust that, there we go. Um, so my first uh, thing is gonna that I'm going to talk about is the history of the channel. And uh, I'll tell you a little more like about the background of it. And then I can get into the vaping from there because that's actually going to lead into the vaping. So first thing I did a review on was the mint snuff. Arctic mint pouches. Um, I'd been watching YouTube for a little bit, had been uh, dipping tobacco and shit, and uh, I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't want to put out another chew uh, review or video because there's so many of them out there. And I was like, well, hey, I don't see, I haven't seen one person review this, and I've seen a couple people review the mint stuff. So you know what? I said, screw it. I'd seen it on TV a bunch of times, so I s uploaded that. Um, I didn't think anything of it for a couple months, I'd say, and then I was just sitting in the hospital with my dad one day, because uh, if you follow my channel, you know my dad's sick in and out of the hospital a lot, and I was playing on my laptop, and then I'm like, oh shit, I'm just going to look at my YouTube, and then I looked, I got like over 100, 200 views, and I was like, well hell, you know, fuck, if I can get that many views, you know, why not keep it going, let's, let's try and uh, start making YouTube videos. So what I decided I was going to do is do tobacco alternatives. So as you can tell on the intro video to my channel, which is old, I need to make a new one because I sound like shit. I'm still all uh, uptight and nervous. I'm not used to the camera, you know, like I am now. Um, I was just, I don't know, I was young, stupid. It's been two years ago. It's old. So uh, the first e-cig I ever purchased was the blue starter kit. I still got the box back there in one of those little uh, piece of furniture. Fuck, I don't even know what it's called. It's been in my family for years. It's like a little armoire thing. But uh, I still got it in here, I think, but I don't want to look for it right now because, you know, it's not very great. I actually purchased it for $60 at a Walgreens by my house, and, you know, that was a lot of money. But it's what really got my foot in the door to vaping and really got me into it, and vaping has just massively helped my family friends and even my mom she doesn't she's never touched a cigarette anything in her life but she still likes to take say like this dirty blonde which my label got ripped off or i'd show you fantasia dirty blonde which is like this pineapple banana flavor and takes it in her little evod and likes to vape on it and taste on it but you know it's just a really big thing and i'm really glad i did that even though it was that amount of money and so i basically went from the blue to the hydro sig uh, Hydrosig Watermelon and Mild Tobacco. I don't even know if they even exist anymore. Uh, I looked for their website a while ago to get some of their watermelon tips, cardamizers, and the website wouldn't come up. But uh, yeah, a real nice guy named Ethan Wasserman uh, hooked me up and, you know, I was very generous of him. Um, then it went from that to, I think it was like the Swishers. Swisher actually sent me like out of the blue. It's really cool. Uh, actual Swisher company, Swisher International Tobacco Company, sent me uh, nine of their disposable e-cigs for free to review, and that was that was badass. That was really good. And then I got the Antonio Villard Royale e-cigar, which still just kicks ass. Check them out, AntonioVillardCigars.com. They're a little expensive, but dude, they are the best. I still, I'd vape on it right now, but I don't want to waste any puffs off it because I just love that thing and I think it's getting low, which makes me sad, but you know. Um, the first mod I really got was the Vapor Zeus. And, uh, still have it, still use it on occasion. It puts off a nice vapor. And James Dean, real e-juice. Real e-juice, by far, best juice to go with. No question, hands down. It's not expensive, but it's a little more. $10 for a 20 mil bottle. But hands down, best e-juice out there for sure. Nothing even stands up to it, honestly. Um, 
I don't know what's up with his website right now, Dan, if you could tell us uh, if you see my video or if, because I know you're a subscriber, huge shout out to Dan, Real Sig Review, part of what started me in this channel. Um, I use his reviewing rating system, and, jeez, uh, just let me it. I just don't know what's up, his website hasn't been down, has been down, and uh, I just wanted to get some more, but I haven't been able to, so, and, uh, yeah. Sorry about that, you gotta get a drink of water, but. So it puts off a nice vapor still. And so that kind of got me into modding. So I went to modding and went to watch some of the, you know, modders like uh, Rip Trippers, Vaping with Twisted 420. Started watching them around this October and November and started to get into um you know mods and rebuilding and so the first one i picked up uh it was for my birthday in november was the black stingray mod that the all the finish came off it but i still think it almost looks better like this because before it was all scratched and shitty looking and then a doge clone competition rda that i got on ebay for like 12 bucks and uh I don't know what's up with it. If you guys can let me know, maybe my wire is bad, but it just tastes disgusting every time I vape on it. I tried um, cleaning the wire with the method from Rip Trippers where he takes it and he puts it under the water after it's red hot and that cleans the wire off. And then you put new cotton in it. I've done everything, boiled the cotton, put new cotton in it. I don't know what's up with it. I got more Canthal wire. I just don't know how to build. What tool do you use to build with it? I don't know what I use to wrap it. I mean, I've looked online at the screwdrivers and they're like 20 30 bucks because I just don't got the money to do right now so if you can tell me what I can use to improvise to build coils that'd be awesome um, my new daily vape I actually got on a trade otherwise I'd show you that I'd still have the case and everything but unfortunately the case was missing I did still get the little transfer piece and that is the iTaste VTR outstanding vape um, I vape on this for two weeks now since I've gotten it and it's been my everyday vape because it's so easy of click it three times and I just accidentally shut it off. Shit. So I had it on. You just click that button three times, turns it on. You've got your adjustable... Right here's your ohms reading. 2.2 .2 ohms. And then 11 watts. Goes up to... There it goes all the way down to 3. Up to 15. And I like to keep it at 11. But that's just my taste. And then it's got adjustable voltage as well, which is nice. A lot of them don't goes from, um, I keep it on 4.3, but it goes uh, from 3.0 to 6.0. And uh, 6.0 tastes a little burnt with the iCrear 30. I'm thinking that's maybe what you're going to want to use if you're dripping. Use a higher voltage. Um, I keep it at 4.3 volts and 11 watts, and it vapes really nice for me. And hold on, I need another drink. Sorry, I keep drinking. I've been sick, and uh, I get caught in mouth from vaping a little bit, but... puts off a great amount of vapor. Um, right now the e-juice I'm vaping in it is the fume. I have a few, quite a few of the fumes. I had a uh, fume grape, fume strawberry, fume sex on the beach, which is what I have in there right now, fume rock star. I got a fume watermelon with 20 milligrams that's steeping. I'm going to leave it steeping in there for a while because I don't know how long it takes to get rid of a bunch of that nicotine because that's just way too much. I usually vape on zero, but I wanted to has something to wait on, you know, to steep on. Um, uh, I get the fume for three ninety nine, and my buddy just cuts me four at my smoke shop. Uh, Smoker's Paradise, if you're ever in the NorCal Reading area, definitely go there. Ask for Mike, and he's an awesome dude. He'll hook you up. He has great prices, and that's where I get all my e-juice uh, locally when I need to get a bottle quick. Uh, if I don't want to order it offline in the mail, uh, I always go there. Because, you know, four bucks for a 15 mil can't be beat. Puts off a nice amount of vapor. And, uh, yeah, like I said, it's just easy and discreet. The Sex on the Beach flavor is really uh, good. It tastes kind of like a, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like a,
not guava, but uh, mango. It has like a hint of mango with just like, I don't know, it kind of tastes like actual alcohol too. It tastes like a martini sex on the beach. You know, it really tastes like it, so. I also like it because it holds three mils. The iQueer 30 is a really nice tank. It's got a little swivel head on it. And uh, it's really nice in that sense because you can move it every which way around when you're vaping on it. And yeah. Now the only downside to it is it takes an 18650 and it runs out not too fast, but for me it lasts about half a day, maybe a day of vaping. I have to charge it always every night before bed on my night core charger. But it still it works good and I, I love this thing. That's been my everyday vape. So um I think that's about all I had to talk about. Um I taste VTR has been my favorite vape. Uh, still, real e-juice has been the best e-juice, but uh, locally for me at the price, I can get fume. So that's what I use locally, and then uh, when I want to order one offline, I'm always going with real e-juice. This puts off a nice amount, and I'll turn it up to 15 watts for you guys too real quick so you can see just how much it puts off at 15 as well. Puts off a nice amount of vapor. The only thing for me is it tastes, it doesn't taste burnt actually. That's after a little while it starts to taste burnt, but it gets foggy in here. So I'm gonna turn it down to 11. But yeah, that's been my little update and uh, just little talk video. Cause I know I haven't made a video in a while just about vaping and about uh, just making one in here. I don't know why I just felt like making a video in here today. It's easy where I like to shoot. That's where I started shooting, so yeah. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more. I'm not sure when I can be putting out a lot of updates or a lot of reviews, but I'll try and keep you guys updated, try and keep you with at least a video a week, and try and just let you know, guys, what's going on, and try and just keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, thank you so much again guys. You've got me at 120 subs now. Just outstanding. That's awesome. Put me at I think almost 25,000 views. That's just killer. I just want to thank each and every one of you. Uh, shout out to Fervid Smoker. Shout out to India Smoke. Shout out to uh, Real Sig Review. Real Vape Review. I think it's Dan Sig Review. Dan's Vape Review now because of the whole attorney bullshit. And uh, you know, shout out to Stew Boy UK. Shout out to all my subscribers thank you guys so much you've literally made it possible for me to have an awesome channel and do uh just vaping and a lot of awesome things that i love to do and i just want to give you guys a big thank you because i ain't shit without you guys so uh, just thank you again guys please like and subscribe and have a great day y'all